Yo guys, today we're going to be shooting some stuff for our boot test of the uh, new tempos as you can see here. And uh, we're bringing you along, gonna vlog a little bit. Sander just got his uh, air wheel, pretty sick. Firstly we're starting off with uh, some free kicks and shots, uh, probably won't take too long. And also, if you didn't know, oh, Skill yeah. and Shoot actually has a spreadshirt page. As you can see here, this is Sanders sweater. Let me try to showcase the logo here. Skill and shoot, there it is. Uh, I'll leave a link to it down below so you can check it out. We're starting off with some free kicks. Just need to like pump up the balls and stuff. Oh, let's go. Okay guys, Sandra just filmed me with his air wheel, I uh, got some nice shots like he went behind the goal as the ball went into the top corner, looked pretty good, you'll see when the test is out and uh, right now I'm just picking up all of the balls and it's pretty difficult because there are a lot of trees here so they might get lost inside of the trees which is a bit of a problem. Now we're going to do a bit of shooting from the right side and uh, probably some skills or long passes. So guys, I think we're pretty much done with the session. I uh, got a nice few angles for some shots, uh, got a few crossing, got some skills. A lot of good stuff for the test video which will be coming out soon. Also, let us know what you thought of this type of video, like a vlog video when we have our sessions. Uh, we've seen a lot of videos from like Ilari Pro, PK17, uh, just to name a few, and they are very enjoyable to watch. Okay, what? We've been looking for the tiger for so long. Look where it is. Like from that angle, it's almost impossible to see. Are you kidding me? So guys, we're pretty much wrapping up our session here. I just want to talk about a few things that you guys have asked us and also what's been happening lately. Firstly, Sanders' goal actually featured on F2's best goal compilation. They're like 4 million subscribers special. Make sure to check it out. Uh, I'll leave a link to it down below. Also, a lot of you guys have been asking me to do a knuckleball tutorial. But I'm just not going to do that and there are many reasons for that. I feel like there's already a lot of good uh, knuckleball tutorials out there on YouTube. And I don't really want to make one yet because I feel like I haven't like perfected my technique yet. There are a few steps that are common in every knuckleball tutorial. And that is to make the follow through as short as possible. Uh, like by bringing your kicking leg to the side or upwards. Just to decrease the amount of curve the ball gets. The other important step is to hit the ball pretty much in the middle, maybe a little bit under. Now the final step is kind of objective, it's like where you hit the ball with your foot. Uh, most people use the instep, uh, kind of the large and hard bone that you have on your instep. Some people use like the toe area, so it's very different from person to person. Uh, I prefer to use my instep. The difficult part of performing a knuckleball is to be precise. It's not that easy uh, considering like how random the ball moves. But then again, if you're thinking of like an in-game situation, you don't really need to be that accurate. You don't necessarily have to hit the top right every single time because the keeper will get thrown off by the movement of the ball. That's pretty much it. See you guys. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed the vlog and uh, we'll talk to you guys later.